All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Dockside TV. On this episode, we're going to be chasing beautiful bass deep in the marsh, and we're going to be using our brand new Matrix Spin. This is a very unique spinner. It's a neat little design where instead of the spinner being clipped onto the end piece, it's actually on a clevis where it has free motion at all times. It can slide back and forth, and this clevis goes around and around. It gives perpetual motion of this blade no matter what the lure's doing. This is a, a really, really high quality swivel that we use here. So that blade spins very easily and it's a fantastic bait. We catch a lot of beautiful bass using this lure in, that, in this episode. And this is gonna be one of the items in your monthly bait box as we had it on a quarter ounce jig head on our Glow Matrix Shad. Now make sure you watch to the end of this entire episode, all the way to the end, as we catch a monster bass at the very end, popping the Matrix float that may also be in this month's Matrix bait box. So check out this entire episode and enjoy this one. Catching plenty of bass deep in the marsh off of the Wrigley's. <laughs> As you can see, that's a largemouth bass, but what we're showcasing today is the new Matrix Spin. Awesome little lure, awesome design, and this will be in your month's bait box, brand new to the Matrix family. We just simply casted and retrieving this bad boy and some shallow winding marshy areas off the uh, Pearl River system. As you can see down, you got some grass on the shallow parts. And then on the other side of the shoreline, it's a little bit deeper. It's a fantastic fishery. We're catching bass, a lot of bass, a couple reds, very few trout. But the spinner bait is extremely, extremely effective and very easy to fish. Let's see if we can put a handful in the boat. Nice pretty bass right there. Yeah, baby. A little marsh chunk. That's what we have out here in southeast Louisiana. When we get in the wintertime, these bass pile up in our, uh, our little canal systems off of the marsh estuary. And it is a great table fare if you want to do catch and release. But I'm talking about you can catch 50 to 100 of these a day. And what, what we're using today is that new Matrix Spin. And I'm gonna show you what makes this thing pretty cool and it differentiates itself from your standard spinner out there. All right, whenever you're fishing a spinner bait, you may just get a long cast typically. You're just gonna rail it in. And then what I like to do, especially if there's a little grass around, if I feel it, oh, there he is. All right, we went from bass to reds. I think that's a red. That's the beauty part about a spinner too. It, it's gonna catch everything. Very versatile lure. Easy to just clip this on. I'm using a quarter ounce golden eye or black platinum right here. You can also use an eight. Works well. And it's catching bass and redfish. But let me just show you. You know, a little technique on spinnerbait fishing, like I was saying, you just cast it out. It's just a simple reel. Look at my reel right here. Simple reel. Very, very good lure for a beginner. 
And then if you feel a little resistance, I just pop, 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 pop it like that. And that's just, if there is a little blade of grass that got on there or something like that, it'll, uh, it'll pull it off. But look at this spinner in the water right here, just to show you. And let me tell you like why use a spinner over just simply railing in a matrix on a jig head. What the spinner is going to do, it's going to slow your retrieve down. You know, if I wanted to just keep a matrix shed in two foot of water, like right off the bottom, I'd have to rail it really fast. With the spinner, you could slow it down, which, you know, allows the fish more time to attack it. What it does is it causes more friction against the water. And you, it's like it's like slowing down your gear ratio. So not only does it allow you to fish it slower or just a steady retrieve, that flash that it gives, it just spins, you know, that blade spinning, it just gets those fish's attention, whether it's by sight or by their lateral line, feeling the vibration in the water. Let's see if we can put a few more in the boat. That's it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that easy. I was just hovering that thing right over the little grass line right there. Felt him grab it. I mean, it's just so easy, guys. You just bomb it out there. I'm, I'm right over some grass, so I'm keeping that rod tip a little high. This is just the perfect depth these bayous right here just like that and to run a spinner bait if we were fishing seven eight foot of water i would recommend a jig head that way you can get that bait you can kill it let it go down to the bottom i mean you can pause the spinner and allow it to fall but that blade when it's spinning it's going to take a long time to get down in seven eight foot of water it just it holds up from a fast fall but in this like three four foot of water can't beat a spinner bait. Can't beat it. And me whipping it like that, it's just me feeling a little bit of grass grabbing it. I'm just ripping it through there. You want to make sure that blade's always spinning. There it is right there. You saw, I saw that fish ball on it and the cameraman saw it too. And the moment he saw that ball, he, he moved that ca the, uh, camera down to where that spinner was and that fish grabbed it. And just so incredibly awesome. We've had a super fun fall and winter this year, fishing the interiors for bass and reds. Just been a fantastic year. red that's typically what's mixed in with these bass is right on those borderline reds of your keeper 16 inches that one's about 14 and a half we've caught plenty keepers today plenty throwbacks but i hope you enjoyed this episode of dockside tv hope you got to see just how effective a spinnerbait is and uh if you want to get your hands on some of these spinners Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box as we're going to be giving out a, uh, one of these prototype spinners that are just coming out to all of our Matrix Bait Box subscribers. So make sure you do that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to all of the other. If you want to see all of our other episodes, such as Catching Speckled Trout, Flounder, you know, Crappie, you name it. Dockside TV on YouTube. Hit the post notification button. And until next time, good fishing. That's a bad sale, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fish. That is a pig. Ooh, look at that mouth.
looking at now. Come here, baby. <laughs> you don't see these in the marsh too often. That fish is legit. Hold on, let me get the trolling motor. We pull, I don't know, three or four fish in the four pound class out of this little three way right here. I got popping a cork, speckled trout style, the matrix float, the glow. Yeah. It's lodge. The actual hook, it's like lodged perfectly. Even if the fish wasn't hooked, I think I would have landed him. Oh, there we go. On the glow, at a quarter ounce. That's serious. Let's put him on the boga. That is definitely one of my biggest in a long time. Look at that, baby. Five pounder. Five pound bass. That's big for the marsh. Get some pictures and we'll let this dude go. All right, guys, we're going to let this tank go, of course. This is one of the, this is about as big as they get around here. Look at that dude, bro. That's a big bass. I didn't have my tags with me. I would have tagged him. 